decided to reopen the church on the 27th of September and so in this little video I'm going to show you the procedures that we're taking in order to make it really safe for everybody who comes. So as you can see I'm here at the car park which is hopefully where most people will come to the church. There'll be someone here who is able to key in the numbers so that we're not all touching them at the same time and then you'll be able to park and that same person will direct you as to which route you should take into the church. So we're going to ask that anybody who's less able-bodied sits in the hall to watch a live stream of the service if you can't manage the steps up into the church and then anybody who can do the steps into the church can sit there until of course that is full and anybody else will have to filter through into the hall. So if you're going to be sitting in the church, then as soon as you've parked, you'll come up the side of the community centre and up onto the high street to come in the main entrance of the church. So you, obviously you can also join us from the high street and we're going to be using the right hand entrance of the church. You will need to wear a face covering for every member of the congregation. And the first thing we're going to do when we get in there is hand sanitise and take your contact details so that we can track and trace if there does happen to be a case of coronavirus within the congregation. Hello, can I help Hello. Hand yes, please. Thank you. We're going to come through into the church and follow the one-way system which takes us through the middle of the aisle and then out around the side of the pews where you can find your seats. So each of the pews are labelled with sit here signs or do not sit here signs where you can find a seat um, which is socially distanced from every other member of the congregation. And then to exit the church at the end of the service, we're going to continue around the same one-way system and exit through the other door. Like so. Okay, so the other route for anybody who will be using the hall is going to be through the other entrance to the hub. So all of the hub doors are now using a touch-free system, which means that we can all enter without needing to touch anything. And then the first thing we're going to do is sanitise our hands. And then the one-way system will come through the hub and into the hall this way. There are two options for exiting the hall. Either you can use the doors at the back here, which have a few steps into the car park, all the doors through here, which I'll show you now. So I'm going to come through into G2 and back into the hall corridor. So a couple of final things to note are that if you would like to use a Bible throughout the service then you would need to bring your own one from home because we will not be using the communal Bibles. Um, there will also be a booking system which will have further details in the notices to follow but that will mean that everybody can book onto a space so that we know we're not going to have too many people in the church and it also will mean that if you don't manage to sit in the church for one week then you'll have higher priority the following week so that you'll get a chance to be in the church with Melbourne. Thank you very much for watching and we're really looking forward to seeing you.